Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Before pulling Changli sequences, you should definitely watch this video. I will go over every sequence of Changli and let you know whether they are worth your asteroids or not. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. In her first sequence, Changli's resonance skill and 4-day circuits heavy attack increase her damage dealt by 10%. Additionally, it gives resistance to interruption. This sequence is very lackluster and not much of a damage upgrade. The resistance to interruption can be nice as Changli is vulnerable while performing her attacks, but it can be solved by swap canceling her attacks. For more details on swap cancel, I have made a video on it. You can check it out after this video. I would rather pull for her signature weapon than going for this sequence. Don't pull for it unless you are aiming for higher sequences. Out of 5, I will give this sequence a rating of 1. The second sequence is quite nice. Getting 4-day circuit stacks increases Changli's crit rate by 25% for 8 seconds. This is a good stopping point for F2P players or low spenders who are pulling for her sequences. It is around 18% damage increase over her S0 and 16% over her S1. The crit rate also makes building Changli easier. However, it does cost a lot of asteroids. Worst case, you will need 33 to 34,000 asteroids just to get this 18% upgrade. There are rumors that we might get a good Changli support in the future, so it's better you save those asteroids for future. Out of 5, I will rate this sequence 3.5 out of 5. Her third sequence increases the damage dealt by her Resonance Liberation by 80%. It is around 9% upgrade over her S2. We'll give it a rating of 2 out of 5. You are better off going with S2R1 than pulling for this sequence. Her sequence 4 gives team-wide 20% attack buff for 30 seconds after triggering her intro skill. It gives a damage increase of around 10% over her S3 to Changli. If you are using a secondary DPS, they can benefit from this buff as well. We'll give it a rating of 3 out of 5. If you have pulled till her S4, then don't stop and go all in for the S6. The fifth sequence increases the damage multiplier of her 4-day circuits attack by 50%. Additionally, its damage dealt is increased by 50%, a massive 27% upgrade over her S4. We'll give it a rating of 4 out of 5. And in her last sequence, her Resonance Liberation, Skill and 4-Day Circuit Heavy Attack ignore 40% of enemy's defense, a whopping 39% damage increase to Changli over her fifth sequence, and by now your Changli will be dealing twice the damage she dealt at S0. Hands down her best sequence, 5 out of 5. So overall, S1 is trash. S2 is a good stopping point for F2P or low spenders, but according to me, it's better to save for a new character who can potentially be the best support for Changli, and S6 is her best sequence which costs a fortune. And that's all for this video, I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe for more Wuthering Waves content. Thanks for watching.